Among the most compact and fascinating models of the principles of ecology is the freshwater pond. This environment harbors life forms and interrelationships of surprising richness and variety. As with all ecological systems, the base of the food supply in a pond is plant life. Familiar pond weeds provide shelter and food for a variety of small animals, like fish, tadpoles, and limnea, an aquatic snail. All life in the pond plays a part in a complex exchange of food energy, sometimes called a food chain. But food web is perhaps a more accurate description indicating a great number of chains that intersect and overlap in an intricate design. The larger, more conspicuous plants in a pond are but a small part of its total plant population, and their role in food production is relatively small. Millions of microscopic organisms, like these volvox, dwell in pond waters. Many are plants that draw nutrients from the water and energy from sunlight through photosynthesis. Such tiny organisms are by far the most numerous and essential pond dwellers. Very small animals, like the crustacean Daphnia, feed on microscopic life and thus form another level in the food web. Daphnia, in turn, are the prey of larger animals, including fishes, like the stickleback. Like this fish, organisms higher up in the food chain are usually larger and less numerous than the organisms they feed on. There are relatively few large predators, like the pike. In the food web, they are the final consumers of food energy. Among the many seldom noticed elements in the pond food web are protists, like paramecium. These tiny single-celled animals inhabit a secret universe of their own. Many are efficient scavengers, feeding on bacteria and refuse, so that even waste matter is consumed and recycled within the food web. Algae are water plants that take every form, from single cells to elaborate filaments, like this spirogyra. Algae are abundant and the primary food supply of many animals, including newborn tadpoles. The complexity of the food web is due to changing food supplies and the varied diets of many animals. The tadpoles now are largely plant eaters, but when full-grown frogs and toads, they'll become carnivorous. Many creatures within the food web alter their roles in similar ways as they mature, or in response to changes in the pond environment. Hanging down from the pond surface, Ditiscus, a water-dwelling beetle, awaits its prey. Insects invade many parts of the pond, and some, like Ditiscus, are voracious predators. Plunging through underwater growth, Ditiscus is prepared to sweep up virtually any prey. His hunting tactic is seemingly to create great commotion in order to flush his victims from concealment. Capturing a tadpole, Ditiscus returns to the surface to feed. Plant food that has sustained the tadpole is now transformed to nourish a larger creature.
an aquatic snail is also prey for Dytiscus. So the food web may be followed from plant to microscopic animal to insect and eventually to a fish or water bird, which may in turn consume Dytiscus. Below, the pond bottom receives a constant rain of nourishing debris. Daphnia may swarm here in large numbers, and small scavengers, like Carixa, sift through the mud in search of plant debris. The larva of the dragonfly, called a dragonfly nymph, is a dangerous bottom-dwelling predator. Its stealthy approach is climaxed by a lunge of astonishing swiftness. Later in life, the dragonfly nymph will leave the water and take its familiar winged form. The pond shelters many transients, creatures that spend only part of their life cycle within the food web. In a world of eat and be eaten, a pond is the scene of constant pursuit and ever-present danger. The perch feeds on Carixa and on any number of other small pond animals. Chance encounters help to determine how long or short any food chain may be, and a predator one moment can be prey the next. Always at the end of the food chain, the large predator like the pike. Few creatures can harm the pike, except for man and larger adult members of his own ravenous species. A freshwater pond may therefore be seen as a fascinating ecological model. The shape of its food web is ever-changing in response to the seasons and to other factors in the pond's environment not always visible to the naked eye. A complex and sometimes savage world lies beneath the still pond waters, a world balanced for the survival of myriad living forms.